with the NJ Outdoor Addiction. I hope you can hear me all right. We're kind of close to a road, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick word. I haven't done one of these in a while, and this one may be a little bit longer than normal, but I'm on location here in beautiful Colorado, Estes State Park, and this place is gorgeous. All right, there's elk running around. I've already caught some fish, caught some brook trout, rainbow trout, and I might show you some of that clips later. But on another note, quick word. We all go through struggles in life. And some of those struggles are larger than others and some are smaller than others. But we all seem to have like one huge struggle in our life. And that struggle is oftentimes in the Bible referred to as a mountain. Okay, 11 years ago, my mountain was loneliness, uh, suicide. I was alone. I was scared. I didn't know what to do next. And then God spoke to me. And whenever he spoke to me, my life, and I accepted it, my life literally changed 360. Now, 11 years later from that date, I'm celebrating my 10-year anniversary with my wife in Colorado. I mean, come on. Is our guy good or is he good? So, what I'm trying to tell you, though, is you all have something in your lives that's holding you back from God. And it's that mountain in between you and God. Okay? And I'm here to tell you right now, if you have the faith, the side of, of a mustard seed, have you guys ever seen a mustard seed? This is a mustard seed. Okay, let's see if you can get in on that. Do you see that mustard seed? You see that? That is a mustard seed. If you have the faith of that little mustard seed, pan this way. You see that mountain back there? You can cast that mountain into the sea if you have the faith the size of that mustard seed i'm gonna grab another one because i dropped that one so this little mustard seed you have that much faith you can cast that mountain and tell it to be gone throw it into the sea so not only did you move that mountain but now you threw that that mountain into the sea so you just turn that sea to dry land also so you can go ahead and walk across that next battle as well with just the faith of a mustard seed. So please, whatever your problem is, give it to God. It takes that little of faith to move that. Can you imagine what you would do if you had a cup full of faith, a gallon full of faith, or if you just surrender your whole life to God? If you do something like that, maybe all your expectations will change like they did for my life. So please, take that in consideration. That little bit of faith is all you need. Well, that's Joe. I'm signing off with your quick word. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. Share this video. There's a lot that you need to know about that. Just that little bit of faith. Matthew 17, 20 is the verse, if you want to look it up. So, thanks, guys.